Welcome to watching the installation and use guide of Chasing Ping 360 Sonar Kit. The package contains Chasing Ping 360 Sonar, O-Ring, M3 by 25 cross recessed pan head screws, Ping 360 Sonar mounting support, screw rod, quick release holder, M3 by 8 screws, and datagram. If you use a Chasing M2 Pro Max, First connect the sonar connection cable to the ROV's network port. Tighten the nuts. Connect the tether module and mounting support by screw rod. Tighten the screw rod. Then, fix the quick release holder above the ROV support rod and tighten it. Finally, slide the sonar into the holder. To complete the Ping 360 sonar installation, if you use a Chasing M2 Pro, First install the docking station to the ROV correctly. Mount the sonar mounting support onto the ROV support rod by 2 M3 by 8 screws. Connect the tether module and mounting support by screw rod. Tighten the screw rod. Connect the sonar connection cable to the network port of the docking station and tighten the nuts. To complete the Ping 360 sonar installation, After the ROV enters the water, open Chasing Go One app. Click the button in the bottom right corner to expand the docking station interface. Click the corresponding network port. Then click other devices to activate the SONA. Connect the, the remote controller's Wi-Fi via computer. Then open the PC software ping viewer to connect the sonar. If the sonar is mounted on top of the ROV, you will see the scanning image of the SONA. If the sonar is mounted at the bottom of the ROV, please click head down to view the sonar image. You can click on the icon in the upper right corner of the software to set the scanning distance for sonar detection, receiver sensitivity, scanning angle and other parameters. When the sonar starts to work, the system will automatically save the scanned data. By default, data files is saved in document slash the ping viewer slash sensor underscore log and named with time. To replay the data, please click display under settings first. Select enable replay menu to display the replay button. Then click the replay button again. Click on replay data and select the file you want to replay. If you need to use a chasing waterproof screen remote controller, please connect the remote controller and your computer with a network cable. Configure the static IP address of the computer and fill in the content as shown on the screen and it will work normally.